everyone, a really warm welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a super quick video, it's probably why I'm talking so fast, because it's freezing out here. Uh, it's a lovely and sunny day, but I've got the roof open to the caravan. Hopefully the sound is okay, because that's what I do on lovely bright sunny days, to get that roof aired out, and hopefully keep the condensation down, which you know I suffer from up there. Anyway, that is the source of another few videos. What I wanted to say today was, I know there are lots of people absolutely fed up of Jackery reviews, and this is not a Jackery review, so poor Gareth on Twitter will be relieved about that. Anyway, I found something that I think is possibly a bit better, uh, certainly is better value for money, and I wanted to share that with you really quickly, because I know there's a few people thinking, um, you know, should I put one of these Jackery things in the car so I can charge up the caravan if it's off grid or whatever. Um, anyway, bottom line is you're probably better off with a solar panel but if you have other reasons for buying one of those things like I did with a van this might be a good solution so as you know in well you probably don't know anybody that follows me on Twitter probably knows because you'll have seen some of the um, responses I've made to other people asking questions and bits of footage of mine that I actually own a Jackery 1000 and it's in the back of the van because it is running the fridge in there so we've got cold soft drinks we don't really drink much we could have beer in there anyway we've got um cold fridge wherever we go if we're on a picnic or whatever uh doubles up as the spare freezer for christmas but that's another matter as well anyway there's a jackery 1000 in the boot of the van running the fridge of the van and running all the electrics because it was a damn sight easier to buy one of those portable power packs than it was to do a whole leisure battery installation and so on because that is a caravel it's not a camper van uh so it's the family multi-van thing Anyway, uh, stop wittering, woman. Right, next point. So, <laughs> so the, the Jackery 1000 is in the boot running the fridge, um, which is great. And it runs the fridge for about four and a half, five days in summer. That's what it did when we were down in Cornwall last year. So that is perfect. Um, but of course, it's in the boot, which means it's difficult to get to. Plugging things in and out, turning things on and off is a bit of a pain. So I wanted another solution for the front, the sort of sitting area of the van, uh, the lounge on wheels, if you like because uh, it's fine when we're going along because obviously we can use the plug-in bits from the van itself all the 12 volt points and the usbs and so on that were already installed but if you're parked somewhere for four or five days without moving like we were last um, summer in cornwall we were just walking up and down to the village or if we we're riding bikes around or something i'm always very nervous about using the vehicle power to charge goodness knows how many ipads and phones and all the rest of it hence i wanted a more leisure battery solution for the front of the van because we couldn't reach jackery um and so on so i said looking about and there were all sorts of different things that looked a bit flaky and then i came across this thing so isn't it cute and small um what i was specifically looking for was something that was no higher than the seat boxes so i could put it in between the two seats in the front of the van and then it wouldn't interfere with the rotating front seats uh, the swivel seats in the front of the van and this is precisely the same height um, as the seat bases so I can swivel over the top very easily without having to move it so this is a I guess it's a soiree um, and let me tell you about it so far so it's got one mains output point on uh, this thing is 518 watt hours I think I've remembered that right 518 watt hours which is just over half the capacity of my Jackery 1000 which is 1002 watt hours um let's see if we can give you a closer look shall we so there's the oh, come on woman get this filming right you've got too much sun against you haven't you let's turn you that way and then you can actually see what's going on here so here's the front of this thing so you can see of course it's mirror imaged we've got mains port we've got a 12 volt port what i haven't checked yet is whether that's regulated um, so when I say regulated, I mean, does it give out exactly the same voltage all of the time, regardless of the state of charge of the battery in here? I don't know. I'll check it and come back to you. Um, there's the input, the charging point. You can charge it up, as you can see, with solar between 12 and 36 volts, or it comes with a mains charger. Obviously, uh, it also comes with a solar input. So it's got an eight millimeter input here to MC4 connectors, which is the typical solar thing. So that is brilliant. And then over here, no wrong way, get your camera angles right, woman. So here we've got, you can see, USB C. There's also a DC quick charge port, so that's 18 watts. That's not too bad. Pretty good for a mobile power pack, that's for sure. And then your standard USB A's. And then obviously, 
one just, you know, fix the whole unit on here. And it gives you your battery, state of charge, all the rest of it, and then one press to turn each of the particular columns on. There you go. And of course, fan kicks in at the start um, for the inverter when the AC is on, and then just the fan turns on and off as it needs to to keep the thing cool. So that is the unit. Um, why is it so good? Well, it has all these functions. Oh, it's got a light on as well. Everybody loves the lights on these things. I don't think I've ever used the torch on these things. Um, it looks like it has a charge port on the top. I don't think it does. The handle's pretty good. You know, it's pretty small. So perfect, I think, for tent camping. The one thing that really annoys me about the jacket is that blinking handle over the top. It just takes up space without needing to. And who's going to carry a 10 kilo power pack around? It does not need that handle on the top. Anyway, so this thing is brilliant. wanted to share it with you. The one downside I've found so far is that the wall charger uh, only puts out 55 watts. And 55 watts to charge a 518 watt hour uh, battery. Yeah, that doesn't take much calculation, does it? So it's about 10 hours to get the thing charged from uh, absolutely empty. Uh, so that's a bit of a pain but everything else looks absolutely brilliant much better than the jackery um also the price so these things are advertised on amazon at 469 pounds but i did not pay 469 pounds um there is currently a voucher on amazon for 160 pounds off so this will be 309 pounds uh, assuming you can pick up the voucher which is just a little tick box under the add to the basket thing so 300 quid for 518 watt hours i think is absolutely brilliant much much better than a jackery um dare i say it feels a bit better built the battery technology seems good so i am very happy with it which is why i wanted to share it with you um all the things i've mentioned are paid for with my own money uh, it would be lovely to have sponsored deals, but you know, this is a tiny channel, so I don't get those sort of things. Anyway, all paid for my own money, and I'm really, really enjoying this thing. Hope it was useful bringing it to you. Uh, I nearly made it all the way through with actually finishing my sentences, didn't they? Didn't I? Anyway, hope it was useful sharing that with you. Uh, sorry, Gareth, that this is another portable power pack review. <laughs> hope everybody else found it useful, and I'll catch you in the next one. So, bye for now. See ya.